And still to be able to finish against a man like Gage, I... Welcome to the University of St. Francis, located in the heart of Fort Wayne, Indiana. The St. Francis men's basketball team has achieved a tremendous amount of success in the past several years, racking up two national runners-up in 2011 and 2016, and a national championship in 2010. Our All-American athletes hang in the rafters of our home, the Hutzel Athletic Center. Linup has it. Another offensive rebound. Homer three. Got it! You better block out Bryce Leno to keep him off the glass. One more. Fox. Got it! Got it to fall! And now Coach Lacrosse wants a timeout. No. Lubash runs the baseline. Throws it. Throw it away! Austin Fox hits the ball game! We only lost one game on this floor last year with great support from our students, fans, and alumni. The cozy confines of the hut make for a great atmosphere for the Cougar basketball players. All recruits are welcome to attend a game and get a campus tour. on the way, that's good. Back right side, Smith, boy, uh, the small is bumped on the players. That goes on Nehoff. His first, team second. Baseline again, looking for Poindexter. Turning with the right hand. This cuts across the top of the key. Works right side underneath, blocked from behind. There was Linup again. Huffman takes it hard into the paint. Tries to give weak side left. Here's Poindexter with that three. Poindexter being sure of loading up. Our off-season preparation is the key to the Cougars' success. Our athletes take pride in being the toughest, most physical team in our league. The way we compete in the weight room is a big reason why we're able to win the Crossroads League regular season championship as the number one ranked team in the NAIA while also taking the Crossroads League tournament championship. After we put the weights down, our guys study film in our state-of-the-art film room with theater seats. This room also acts as a place for the team to unwind with a gaming system and cable TV to watch our favorite NBA teams. This is also where our team meets prior to the games, at the half, and after the conclusion of another Cougar victory. Our locker room is fitted with personalized lockers that have nameplates created for every player. This is another place for our guys to unwind as the locker room includes a stereo and TV. The players are always reminded of the tradition of excellence with our conference and national championship trophies on display. They're 4-3 in the first seven minutes of the ball game. They've doubled up the score at 14-7, but there's Lenup down low to bank one in. He's got six. Evans and Mahurin faking, drives baseline. And bounces, there's the weak side, good defensive block. Here's Small, drives baseline, drives underneath, kick out pass, spotting up Comer for three, gap box. Here's Austin, stop and go move into the paint, fall away, jumpers on the way, bounding. Stop and go move right side, driving in, kick out pass, Seth Small, fires up a three, got one. There's Peters in 
Back door is open, they were blocked. And out of the middle of wheels to the lane, kick out pass. And here's Comer, baseline fall away on the way. Rattles right now to Hahn. Hahn drives right of the key, cross court. Comer launches a three, got one. Dang it, Comer. Comer though crosses over, bumped on the play, turn around, fall away. It's good. Down low along the baseline, here is Austin Fox. They want a double on him. Five to shoot out front. Comer spots for three. Got him! Under seven and a half minutes remaining. Henry step back, but no, he does not take the shot. Comer splits the defense, drives inside, but they'll bring it back out now. And here's a loose ball and picked up by Fox, and he makes it home. Cougars with a chance to take the lead with 3.51 remaining. Cougar crowd on their feet, encouraging their team. Here's Han. Han out front. And still in a, looking for the backup. And there is Fox for the lead. He's in double figures now. He's got 12, and the Cougar lead is one. 41 seconds remain. Homer drifts to the left side. Entrance pass down low. Linham looking for Henry. Backs down. Looking, looking out front. Here's Homer driving in with a runner off glass. Got a pretty shot. Taking Homer with 22. Timeout. St. Francis. So many different emotions. Just like you said, it was. Everybody I've talked to said it was like a heavyweight boxing match. It was just, I feel like for the last 10 or so minutes of the game, we just went blow for blow. Like, so many lead changes. And the last 30 seconds really just cultivated that. Smaller, quicker lineup in there. McCurry taking a long look. Grant Evans across the line. Falls down, lost the ball. It'll be St. Francis' ball with 19 seconds remaining. Evans looking for anybody but a listen, saying that I got fouled. Now, St. Francis has got the ball with 19 seconds remaining. They're going to put full court pressure on USF. Inbounding in the backcourt. Now Kagan Comer with the ball. Clock running. 17 seconds remaining. Comer takes it left side. Gives to Linna. Linna backing down. Got the ball. It comes to Comer for the win. On the way short. Tipped up in the air. Linna had it. Lost it. Tied up ball. Now we have whistles. St. Francis provides the opportunity to get a great education while competing for national championships.